Hi there, it's Jacqueline here. I'm gonna start my cooking class a little early because I've got a fun little project going here. Um, for Halloween, I came across a little farmer's market that had all these different squash and I just thought this looked just so cool. It would be perfect for decorating at Halloween, which is why I bought it. But it's a squash, so it's multi-purposed. And so today, I'm going to take this turban squash and turn it into a casserole. Now, in order for me to do this, there's a little bit of prep work because squash takes a little bit of time to cook. Now, a couple options that I wanna let you know about. This um, turban squash, you can actually use for soups or casseroles or stews. And if you're going to do soups, what you're going to want to do is maybe have our multi-purpose steamer. Uh, make sure when you're buying a, a turban squash that you find a size that will fit. Just so you know, turban squash can be 10 to 14 inches large and five to six pounds. So size matters when you're trying to get it inside one of our steamers. And we have a round steamer and the square. The square actually uh, dimension wise is a little bit uh, more capacity. Okay, now I'm not steaming this, I'm not making soup, I'm going to be baking it in the oven. So, little bit of uh, knowledge on how to use this. As you can see, this turban squash is like, it's like a squash coming out of a squash. It's really cool. Now, it was originally found in uh, France, I believe, and they actually talked about it being watery and bland. Well, fortunately, we've got a hybrid variety that um, I believe came out of the Caribbean. It's really, really popular in Haiti. And it's sweet and nutty because the hybrid variety is the turban squash from France with a Hubbard squash and an acorn squash. So this is gonna be absolutely delicious for our stew. So prepping, it's got a really hard outside. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is use a knife, a sharp knife. It is dangerous, right? Now, if you don't wanna use a sharp knife like this, make sure that you've got a good quality knife that's not going to bend. Like this is, is not, I would never use my Chinese or my Japanese knives for this at all. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to cut between the two areas, okay? And if it's really, if, if you're finding it's a struggle, push your knife tip in and press it down and then pull it out and just sort of work it, like perforate it, because that will help you weasel through getting this separated, okay? Some areas are a little bit um, more flat, so it's a little bit easy to work with, but when you get to the corners, uh, definitely takes a little bit more work. You can see I'm sort of wiggling around here. You can see how this is not a project you're gonna wanna give your kids to do. Okay, so we're almost separated here. Okay, all right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate this. Okay, and we've got two different, isn't this funny? It looks like two different squashes. Okay, so you're going to now scoop the pulp, which is this part, and your seeds off. The easiest way, in my opinion, I'm gonna grab a knife here, is I would just cut this off. I'm not gonna go grab a spoon and make this difficult for myself. Basically what you want is you wanna make sure that um, you don't have any seeds and you get you wanna leave the flesh on it. So once you've got the bulk of it out, you can go grab just your spoon, dig it in there and scoop the rest out. I wanna create, just so you know, the reason I'm, I'm being a little, um, what am I gonna say, careful with this, is I actually want to use my squash as the container. I think it's gonna look beautiful at the table. It's multi-purpose. I don't have to wash it. I can just throw it into my greens 
and the garbage man can take it away. So no dirty dishes tonight other than what I'm gonna be putting in the inside. Okay, so just scoop this all out. I've got my flexible cutting board underneath here. Um, I understand that this squash go, grows really, really well. So you may want to preserve some of your seeds and maybe grow it next summer because this squash is a winter squash and it will store for about three months. So this is a really good economical thing and a, and a fun little project for your family. Okay, so now you can see that I've got a base here and my base here. Okay, so now I want to cook this up to so that it's soft enough that I can cut the flesh out. And so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use our baking sheet. I've got my liner in here, and you're just going to flip this so the cut side is facing down, okay? And do both sides. So it should look like this. And we're gonna stick it in the oven for 375 degrees for about 30 minutes, okay? We want it to be tender, um, just fork tender, not so it falls apart, but so that I can actually score it and pull it out and make my casserole with this.